the topic of sexuality, the topic of race, the topic of uh, any social just, injustice. Concern. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, the academic like system and like teachers and parents and like I feel like everybody can put a word in once they watch the show. If you're not having endless conversations, then I think you need to watch the show again. Hi, we're the cast of Grand Army from Netflix, and here are the top five things to expect from our new show. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. One thing. You know what? That's grouped into one thing, Amir. All right. I feel like saying blood, sweat, and tears is kind of perfect for it. It's kind of literal. I feel like if I go into it more, I'll just tell you what happens. Joey deals with a lot. It's a lot for a 16-year-old to handle. It's a lot for a 50-year-old to handle. Seeing youth rise above their circumstances. Like a lot of people, a lot of adults wouldn't be able to wrap around the things that youth go through. Because they often think, oh, you're young, you don't get it, you have nothing to stress about, but we're literally experiencing real traumatic issues. It's not just on TV that you see it, it's real life. So like, yeah, rising above your circumstances, you'll definitely see that with every single character. Dom is a go-getter, she's a hustler. Despite what she's going through at home, she always made it work. And she also wants so much more for herself and her future. And she also like paves the way. Viewers that watch Grand Army can expect a lot of inner turmoil. <laughs> Not exclusively in Sid. I think that's found in every single character in the show. And obviously Sid does go through that in his own personal journey. It's a testament to, again, like phenomenal writing that sets all of us as actors up to succeed. And then also that everyone here is so phenomenal at acting, truly. Like everyone is so good at it. And um, <laughs> you can just you can just see their inner life whenever you're, uh, you're watching that. And that authenticity um, and depth really shines through in each of their performances. I believe viewers can expect the introduction of new perspectives. Like for sure. The authenticity of what it means to be a young adult. Like it gets down to the nitty gritty. It doesn't sugarcoat anything. Like it shows you guys what we think, how we think. Essentially, just like a lot of times uh, adults feel like teenagers don't know what we're talking about. And it's not even so much that we don't know what we're talking about. I think it's that we understand what's going on. We just don't know how to like, elaborate on it fully. So it, it confuses us a little bit. You know what I mean? And instead of people explaining, they just tell us like, no, that's not it, or you get punished. And um, I think Grand Army will bring that to the light. There's definitely a point where Jason decides to fight back, essentially, and stand up not only for himself, but for his friend as well. And his parents don't agree with the risk that he's taking in order to do so. Being you know, a young black man, that's what it comes with. Like, sometimes it's a risk to stand up for yourself. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's something that Jason has to learn. He doesn't know that in the beginning. So the last thing that I think people can expect from Grand Army is to feel, they're gonna feel seen and represented in a way that at least I know I've never felt as seen and represented um, before. I think you can expect from Layla's story a lot of that turmoil that was being discussed before. And I think a lot of the struggling to be seen um, and the struggling to figure out who you want to be in the world and the struggle to come into your identity, whether that's your racial identity, how you identify as like a sexual being, not necessarily your sexuality, but as a, as a sexual person or um, whether that be coming into your identity as a feminist. Those are all things that I know I related to and that Layla goes through and hopefully other people will relate to as well.